Milo and Mia's Halloween Adventure. One chilly October morning, little Milo and his big sister Mia woke up with big smiles on their faces. Mia, Mia, it's almost Halloween. Milo squealed, jumping out of bed. Mia laughed and twirled around. That means we get to wear our costumes, get candy, and have some spooky fun, she said with a giggle. But little did they know, this Halloween would be extra special, filled with surprises, a little mystery, and lots of giggles. Halloween plan. Milo and Mia lived in a cozy house with their mom, dad, and their fluffy dog, Sparky. They had been talking about Halloween for weeks. Mia wanted to be a sparkly fairy with wings that glowed, and Milo wanted to be a brave superhero with a cape that flapped in the wind. As they ate breakfast, their mom smiled at them and asked, so what's the plan for Halloween this year, kiddos? Milo's eyes sparkled. We're going to collect so much candy, and we'll play games and we'll see spooky things, he said, bouncing in his seat. Oh, and we'll visit Mrs. Willow's house, Mia added, nodding her head. Mrs. Willow was their friendly neighbor who always gave out the best treats every Halloween. All right, their mom chuckled. But remember, not everything spooky has to be scary. Halloween can be lots of fun too. The costumes are ready. The day before Halloween, Mia and Milo were buzzing with excitement as they tried on their costumes. Mia spun around in her sparkly fairy dress. She had glittery wings and a magic wand with a star on top. Look, I'm a fairy, she giggled, making her wings twinkle. Milo looked at himself in the mirror, proudly wearing his superhero cape, mask, and shiny boots. He held his fists up and said, I am Super Milo, ready to save the day. Their mom took pictures as they posed, and even Sparky got a small hat with dog ears that made him look extra cute. Sparky barked happily, wagging his tail as if he knew Halloween was going to be special too. A pumpkin surprise. The next morning, Halloween was finally here. The kids raced downstairs to find their dad carving a pumpkin in the kitchen. Look, he said, holding up the pumpkin with a funny face carved on it. Wow, dad. It looks so silly, Mia laughed. The pumpkin had a big smile and two round eyes. They decided to put it outside to greet all the trick-or-treaters, but just as they placed the pumpkin outside, Milo noticed something. Hey, what's that? He whispered, pointing to a tiny note tucked under the pumpkin. Mia picked up the note and read it out loud. It said, to Mia and Milo, Go to the big tree at the end of the street for a Halloween surprise. From a friendly ghost. Milo's eyes went wide. A friendly ghost? He asked, a little nervous, but very curious. Maybe it's just a game someone set up, Mia said, grinning. Come on, let's go check it out. The Mysterious Journey. The big tree at the end of their street was old and had thick branches that spread out like an umbrella. When Mia and Milo arrived, they saw a little basket hanging from one of the branches with another note tied to it. Look, Milo, another note, Mia said excitedly. She took it down and read, well done, you found the first clue. Now follow the path to the park and you'll find your next surprise under the bench. Milo's eyes sparkled with excitement. This is like a treasure hunt. Let's go, Mia. Holding hands, they skipped down the path, with Sparky trotting happily beside them. The leaves crunched under their feet and they laughed, feeling like little detectives on a big adventure. The candy clues. When they reached the park, they found a small pile of candies under the bench, along with another note. Milo grabbed a piece of candy and grinned. This friendly ghost sure knows what we like. The new note said, you're almost there. For your final surprise, look for the big rock by the playground, but be careful, you might get a little spooked. Milo looked up at Mia, his eyes wide. A little spooked? Do you think it's scary? Mia put her arm around her brother and smiled. Don't worry, remember what mom said. Not everything spooky has to be scary. Let's go find out. The big surprise, 
When they got to the playground, they spotted the big rock near the slide, but something was different. A ghostly figure with a white sheet was standing next to it. Milo held Mia's hand tightly. Is that... the friendly ghost? He whispered. Just then, the ghost lifted the sheet and underneath it was... their dad. Surprise! He laughed, taking off the sheet. I'm the friendly ghost who left you the notes. Milo and Mia burst into giggles. Dad, you tricked us, Mia said laughing. Sparky barked and wagged his tail, happy to see everyone laughing. Their dad held out a big bag of treats. Here's your final surprise, some extra special Halloween candy just for you two. Milo clapped his hands. This was the best Halloween ever. Trick-or-treating fun. As the sun began to set, Mia and Milo got their costumes on again, and they were ready to go trick-or-treating. They went from house to house, collecting candies, chocolates, and even some tiny toys. When they reached Mrs. Willow's house, she opened the door with a big smile and handed them the biggest candy bars they'd ever seen. Happy Halloween, my little fairies and superheroes, she said, waving. By the time they got home, their bags were filled with goodies and their feet were tired. But they were both still smiling from ear to ear. A sweet ending. Back at home, they poured their candy onto the floor and shared with each other. Sparky watched them, hoping for a treat of his own, so they gave him a few doggy treats too. Their mom and dad sat down with them, and their dad asked, So, did you two have fun? Yes! Milo and Mia shouted together. And we learned something too, Mia added. Their mom smiled and asked, oh, and what did you learn? Milo thought for a moment, then said, that even if something seems spooky, it can be fun too if we don't let ourselves get too scared. Mia nodded, and that surprises can be really fun, especially when we're together. Their dad hugged them both. That's right. Halloween isn't just about spooky things. It's also about having fun with the people we love. As they got ready for bed, Mia looked at Milo and whispered, I'm so glad I got to have this adventure with you, little brother. Milo smiled and whispered back, Me too, Mia. And with happy hearts and bellies full of candy, they drifted off to sleep, dreaming of friendly ghosts, sparkly fairies, and brave superheroes. And that's the story of Milo and Mia's Halloween adventure. They learned that sometimes things that seem spooky can be just a bit silly and that adventures are even better when you share them with family. So remember, little listeners, when you go out on Halloween, keep an open heart, be curious, and enjoy every fun moment with the people you love. Happy Halloween! Miniatures Planet.